Hello, it's another beautiful day. We are grateful to God for the gift of life and for the gift of friends and family. My name is Tony Abba and it is my pleasure to say welcome to the program, A Light for the Nation, a daily devotional program that is brought to you by the Catholic Church. Today, Reverend Father Paul Maggi is telling us about the danger of greed. In the name of the Father and of the Son, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Almighty and ever living God, we thank you for the love of we, your sons and daughters, who have blessed us with a new day as we go out in search of our daily me. Father, help us to have the spirit of contentment, help us to accept that we belong to us. Let this, what is happening in this country, not force us to go extra mile, but rather to be contented to what we have through Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, we are to reflect on the danger of greed. 2 Kings chapter 5, 20-27. The passage narrates the story of Elisha's servant, Gehazi, who, as a result of his greed, and cure the wrath of God upon himself. Gehazi is a servant who indeed is expected to replace Elisha after his early sojourn. Elisha who worked with his master Elijah faithfully to an end that Elijah have to try to deceive Elisha to go but Elisha who is faithful to his master followed him the eleventh hour of his life on earth, and God blesses Elisha. Today, Elisha has a servant who is expected to follow the same footsteps how he managed to work with his master Elijah. But Gehazi, in our today's reading, allowed himself to be carried away with greed, is not contented with what he has. Some lesson we need to learn. Number one. A greedy person is never satisfied or contented with what he has. Someone who has a million naira in his account is struggling with those who have just 10,000 naira in their account. Someone who is driving 34 cars is still struggling to have 10 cars. My dear brothers and sisters, we need to be contented with what we have. The economy is not too wonderful to us. The society is hostile to us, but I assure you, if you are contented with what you have, you will be a happy person. Number two, the consequences of greed are always great, as in the case of Gehazi, and also in the case of Ananias and his wife, Sapphira, in Acts of the Apostle, chapter 5, verse 1 to 11. Great punishment upon us. Gehazi lost everything. The chain of prophetic stop after Elisha because Gehazi and his servant allowed greed to overshadow him. Maybe Gehazi is just like one of us today, battling with his family, need money to pay the house rent, need money to pay the bills at home, the children at home for not paying school fees. Why not ask his master? Whatever you are passing through, be sincere to yourself. Sincerity is indeed what is expected from us. That is what Elisha expects from his servant Gehazi. That is what the college of disciples also expect from Ananiah and Sapphira. They were not forced. People sell their properties and bring the money to the generous post so that the poor, the less privileged, will benefit from it. They sold their property and bring part of the money. You all know what happened. The disciples asked them, Is this all what you have? The man answered, Yes. And when the wife entered Sapphira, she also said the same thing, Yes. And the end is doomed on them. Number three, there are so many benefits of contentment as seen in Proverbs chapter 11, verse 28. If you are contented, to what you have, there is blessing attached to it. 
If you are contented with what we have, the graces of God will flow on you. Contentment is indeed what most of us think only exists in the dictionary. Maybe because we have bad economy, maybe the society is so hostile to us. But I want to assure you, my dear brothers and sisters, be contented with what you have. Let what happened to Gehazi not be for you. Let what happened to Anania and Sapphira not be for you. Anania and Sapphira, Gehazi, they have done theirs. Yours may be common to share something that is for the group. Example, if I gave one or two of you now 50,000 naira to share, you may think because I'm a leader, no, let me take the lion's share. The money is to be shared equally. That is what affected Gehazi. Today, we are called to be contented. Let this word be registered in our hearts. As we go out today in search of our daily need, let us be contented in what we are doing. I know it's not easy. When you go out in search of your daily need, struggling in your place of work, struggling in the market, other people are raising the price of goods just to have enough money. My dear brother, my dear sister, keep to your price. Price, 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 price. Be for you, but for everybody. Be faithful and be sincere in what you are doing. Whatever it takes for you to be contented, go after it and be a happy person. I pray for you. The good Lord bless you and keep you. And I pray for the spirit of contentment to accompany you for the rest of your life through Christ our Lord. I bless you. The Mother, the Father, and not the Son, not the Holy Spirit. Amen. Reverend Father Paul Maji is of the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja, guiding us in today's reflections. I believe he has been able to inspire you to know that, yes, it is good to possess things, but greed is bad, and there's danger in being greedy. Whatever it is we have, let's share with one another. Let's share with our brothers and sisters, our friends, and even our enemies. If you have questions and you want to share, please do not forget to send us a short message on the numbers as shown on your screen. You can also take advantage of our various social media handles, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Let's follow the conversation on those platforms and let's help one another to discourage the culture of greed and imbibe the culture of sharing and humility. Bye for now and have a lovely day. <laughs>
Sima mama juu yetu 